Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy your Radzen application. You already have a ready to use application and you need to deploy it to a server. You can do this from our deploy screens. Click deploy button and explore the deploy options. The first one is Microsoft IS. The second is FTP server and the third one is zip file. For Microsoft IS you need to have web deploy installed and running as a service on both your machine and your IS server machine. You can specify also the site name, the deploy method and if you have data sources connected to database you can specify the production connection string. Of course you need to enter the server address and credentials if needed. Since I'm deploying to localhost I'm not going to enter anything here. Before deploying to IS Make sure also that you have .NET Core Windows Server Hosting installed on your IS server. If you want to deploy to the root of your IS server and not uh, in a virtual application, you can remove the second part of the site name and leave just the default website. But in this case, I'm going to leave it like this. And let's now click deploy and wait the application to be built in production and deployed to your IS server. The deploy process just finished now and Radzen will automatically open a browser window to browse the deployed application. Every time you execute deploy from Radzen, Radzen will create and update a dot settings file with the options you selected during deploy. In this case, I deployed to IS with the following options. Next time when you open the deploy screen, the settings will be loaded from the dot settings file. Let's explore now the deploy to FTP server option. Again, you can specify the server address, username and password, and the connection string that will be used for production. In this case, however, you have option to specify base grave for the app. It is similar to site name when deploying to Microsoft IS. And again, if you need to deploy the app to the root, just remove the path name and leave it like this. The third deploy method is deploying to zip file. You can enter the application base graph and the database connection string for production. To deploy it to the root, just leave the base ref like this. Let's now deploy to a zip file and check the result. Click deploy button and wait the application to be deployed. The deploy process finished and Radzen will create a zip file in the root folder of your application. Let's explore the content of this zip file. You have a .NET Core application and Angular application ready to be deployed. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.